Hi guys, it's Peter and welcome to our channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you one cool device. I just pick it up from eBay. It's a easy VGA, and it's a scan doubler slash uh, flicker fixer for Amiga family. Pretty much, it has a 23 RGB connector for connected to Amiga, and another side, it's a VGA 15 pin. Also has a couple jumpers set up as, uh, for settings and uh, adjustment for flickering and pretty much like i said it has a scan doubler and flicker fixer two in one before i was using this guy and it's a gbs 8200 i mean for what it is and how much it costs and it cost me only 20 bucks it's probably okay i mean the quality wise is not it's not really good it's, it's kind of it's almost well it's still kind of acceptable especially for 20 dollars right I mean, I did modify it a little bit. Of, I I glued it uh, aluminum foil to keep it interference down, but still, still interference there. But it's uh, like I said, twenty bucks only. You have to have a cable. You have to have power. This guy doesn't require any additional cables, and there's no additional power. But it has one minus. One, I bought the things. Well, actually, before I even purchase the, this guy. I found a couple people in the forums. They saying they got. It sounds like it had the same problem. Uh, well, actually, now I, I know it's the same problem. But when I was purchasing, the seller didn't mention it. It has that issue. Pretty much what it is. When you plug it in, you have to warm up. Give it two three minutes to warm up, to work properly. It will produce all color uh, the way it's supposed to be. Otherwise, if you plug it in and power it, the white color is not going to be really white. It's going to be kind of more blue uh, slash green or so. Well, let me power it and I'm going to show you, uh, I mean, how it works. Also, I mean, I did remove a couple screws. I want to show you what, what what's inside. It's quite complicated board, looks like. has uh, components from both sides. When it's running, those two chips, those two controllers get really, really hot. I mean, unbelievable how hot they get. And some pictures on the forums, I found that people put in a fan. I'm going to place it probably cooling things and see how well it is going to cool down. Because this chip, the highest number, it goes to 82, 84 Celsius. It's pretty hot. This guy runs in the, in the mid 50s, 60, actually mid 50s. High 50s, low 60s. Uh, it's, it's quite hot running. Uh, well, let me plug it in and we go from there. Well, guys, as soon as uh, it starts booting, you can tell right there. Those lines are supposed to be white and, th and they're not really white. The vertical uh, lines, it it's kind of looks white. Then the bottom one also more greenish than white. And like I said, after probably three four minutes or so maybe a little bit more maybe a little bit less uh, those lines will turn white let's uh, give it some time and yeah you see even right now it's kind of the white star over overpowering that uh, greenish but it's not quite we have to wait a little bit longer okay guys now you can see the upper border it looks true white the way it's supposed to be like I said every time when you do a cold start you have to give it a few minutes to warm up I'm not sure if it's normal on some forums I read it it sounds like it's almost like yeah it's 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 normal uh, it's uh, for me it's kind of difficult to confirm if it's uh, true that's the case if anyone has the same device and has that issue or doesn't have that issue leave it comments I'd like to know if you guys did fix it somehow, uh, also I will appreciate. But otherwise, you can tell. I mean, the quality-wise, it's the way it's running is pretty good. Here's the logo. You can see each pixel nice and sharp. Uh, let's put some game and see how well it will. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I bumped the camera. How well it works. Uh, now it's gonna run it. Uh, Dragon Tail. And yeah, I really like it. That skin doubler is much, much better than that adapter was, was I was using before. Even the price wise, uh, 
I mean for uh, my old adapter uh, I pay uh, I believe 20 bucks or so for this guy it cost me 80 dollars and most likely what it's gonna do to see if it's gonna fix that problem I was gonna recap it there's a four uh, caps I was gonna replace it see see if that's gonna help because somehow I feel like that's not that's not really normal I mean uh, it should it should run without any uh, warming up uh, process I mean the uh, step but maybe it is uh, kind of difficult for, for me to tell yeah you see it it's quite nice and sharp image I hope the camera is gonna show exactly what I see on the screen I mean how well it shows it, it works really good I mean this scan doubler slash flicker fixer compared to my Amiga 1200 I'm not gonna compare it with Amiga 3000. 3000 it's a little bit much better, I mean better sharper uh, image than this guy. But even if I compare it with Amiga 1200, the one I got with uh, Scan Plus Aga, I mean it's really 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 close. And Scan Plus Aga doesn't have a flicker fixer, this does, which I, I kind of like it, uh, this guy. And like I said, it's, it doesn't require any additional cables, doesn't require additional power. You just connect it, you can use it any any Amiga with this uh, skin doubler. Well guys, uh, that's kind of a short video. I hope you like it. And if you do, thumbs up. If you don't want to miss any future videos, subscribe. We will be really appreciated.